Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of using the Sirocco tool to assess the maturity requirements of good practices. Maturity requirements represent what a good practice needs from its environment in order for it to be possible to be carried out there. In particular, a good practice will require some features in the environment. We define a feature as a concrete thing. What is it in the environment that is needed by the good practice? In order to decide if a feature is required by a good practice, we can ask ourselves would the good practice be possible if this feature were absent from the environment? And if the answer is no, then the feature is definitely required by the good practice. To conduct the assessment process, we recommend the following set of steps. First of all, selecting a good practice to assess, then identifying four to eight local stakeholders and introducing them both to the Sirocco project and the Sirocco tool. In the third step, asking the stakeholders to use the Sirocco tool in order to, to fill in self-assessment survey, surveys individually to record their individual opinion about the maturity requirements of the good practice. In the fourth step, as also supported by the Sirocco tool, conducting a consensus building workshop to bring the stakeholders together and reach an agreement about the maturity requirements of the good practice, as well as the features that the good practice depends on. And finally, analyzing the outcomes and providing feedback on the process. In this video, I'm going to present to you how the Sirocco tool supports the third and the fourth step. For someone to individually fill in a self-assessment survey regarding the maturity requirements of a good practice, once logged in, he or she must first access the maturity assessment index. Then, select the second button, New Individual Good Practice Questionnaire. Here, you are prov provided with a description of what this assessment is about, and on the left-hand side, a form consisting of 12 dimensions or questions that you can navigate by either using the tabs or the right and left arrows. Each of the dimensions has an associated narrative that you can access by using the eye icon. Each of the dimensions also has six ratings and you need to select one for each of the dimensions. Whenever you select a rating, it is automatically represented onto the right-hand side, onto what we call a spider diagram. You can also directly interact with the diagram in order for an axis, which represents a dimension, to enter your answer. And this answer is automatically saved within the form as well. You are free to save intermediate versions of this questionnaire where you have not provided ratings for all of the dimensions. However, as soon as you provide a rating for a dimension, you are required to also provide a set of features for that dimension and also your level of confidence about it. Also, within the description tab, please provide the name for your questionnaire and here we recommend using your own name and that of the good practice. Then, selecting a healthcare system your good practice belongs to, and when you do this, you can read about it by using the eye icon, as well as selecting the name of your good practice. If it already exists within the scroll, you can select it and then read about it by clicking on the eye icon. If it doesn't exist, please select other and provide a name and a description for it. For the description, we recommend that you provide just a link to its EIP on AHA description provided in the repository available here. You can click on this link to get to the repository and search for the good practice. However, if a link does not exist, you can provide a description in your own words. When you have finished filling in a questionnaire, please click Save. The questionnaire will automatically indicate in red any questions that were required that you have not replied to. For example, here, question two, for the second dimension, you have provided a rating, but not also the features and the level of confidence that are required. So I'm going to provide them. Within the description, which is also marked in red, we have not entered the name or description of the good practice. For this example, I'm just going to select the existing test good practice. Finally, if we save again, and this time all of the information was provided, we will get a confirmation both by email and within this web page. You can further edit your replies and click on update, which again will give you a confirmation both by email and on this web page 
if all the information was correctly provided. And you can also directly use the share button from the bottom of the page in order to share your questionnaire with your consensus meeting coordinator for the future consensus meeting. In order to do this, you must indicate their email address, the one that they must have registered with. As soon as you start typing it, you will get a recommendation about, about it. You can select it and click share. Both you and the person you are sharing with will get a confirmation by email and you will also see both of your names within this table. You can further decide to switch your editing rights to this person or to unshare the questionnaire with him or her. Going back to the Maturity Assessment Index page, you will be able to see your questionnaire within the Shared Questionnaires, Good Practice Questionnaires category, where you can, and you can further edit it, export a PDF of this questionnaire, further share the questionnaire, or hide it from your view, which, doesn't mean that, which means that it will only be hidden for you, but not also for any others whom you've shared the questionnaire with. As soon as the different stakeholders have filled in individual questionnaires, you may end up, like in the case of this Basque country good practice, with very different questionnaire replies. During the consensus meeting, you will want to superimpose these different questionnaire replies in order to see where people tend to agree and where greater differences exist. You will also like to reach a consensus about the features that the good practice depends on from its healthcare system for each of the different dimensions. The tool also su offers support for this. As the coordinator of a consensus meeting, within your maturity assessment index page, you will be able to see all of the individual replies that had been provided by the different stakeholders. You can select up to five of these replies and then scroll to the bottom of the screen and click on Compare and Enter Consensus. This will lead you to the Consensus Maturity Assessment Questionnaire page, which again is explained. And you can see here the different quest individual questionnaires as overlaid in different colors. You can also see a legend with the different colors and which questionnaire each of them corresponds to. And you can click on the different questionnaire names in order to open the individual questionnaires. Using the same colors, you can see the different replies provided as ratings for each of the dimensions, as well as the different justifications in terms of features. In order to enter your consensus par as part of the consensus meeting, please record it onto the form, which will automatically populate it onto the spider diagram, or directly interact with the diagram as before. This time, instead of having an empty feature box, you are asked to provide individual features as consensus for each of the dimension. Please select a feature, as well as provide your confidence level whenever you have provided a rating for a dimension. Finally, please also fill in the description tab with a name for your consensus, select a healthcare system, and select the good practice, and click Save. As before, you will get an indication in red if something was not filled in appropriately. However, as soon as you have all of the information filled in, you will get a confirmation both by email and onto the page. As before, you can further edit your consensus questionnaire here and click update, or you can decide to share straight away. Again, you can also be able to see it from the maturity assessment index page from the category consensus questionnaire, good practice questionnaires this time, and you can further edit it, download the PDF of it, share it or hide it for you here. Thank you very much for your attention.